Hi, this is Rod with Custom Chronicles, and today's project is doing pinstripe, repeating the patterns on circular saw blades. And I'm going to go through the process of how I do it, and you can replicate that on any round object. So let's just get into it. I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to be doing basically Clydesco pattern on a small one and on this big one here. And that's the end project, how they end up looking. I could have gone a little bit more on that one if I really wanted to. It all depends on what you want to do. But here's how I do it. I put down the brakes. This is three different sections. This is four different sections here, obviously. And I put a mark every inch coming out from the center. And then all the way around the circumference, I do the same thing. And then I'll put in the grid, which is circles, basically making a target or a, a bullseye kind of deal. And basically just start laying out the patterns. I got the first ones down here and I'm gonna build out from that and I'm gonna start getting into that. So I'm just gonna cut this off, quit talking, and I'm gonna start striping. All right, here's the first color I'm putting down, I'm putting down uh, magenta. Uh, gonna be tying in with this red I didn't want to get too Christmassy and use whites and yellows and greens and stuff like that so I'm just kind of doing something that jives with the the red and uh, well I try to do all my striping I try to do a lot of pulls towards me so we'll just start laying that laying this down hopefully I don't make a shipwreck of it just up on the tip twisting the brush got a little bobble there it always happens. I got the shakes all the time. But anyways, here we go. Do this first one, then I'll hit the time lapse and get the rest of them so I don't have to keep babbling and stuff, talk and try to fill the air with my voice. But there you go, there's the stripe. Just basically, uh, the majority of it's in the palette. You know, getting your your paint laid out. I don't need to mix a lot of paint. I'm not doing a very big amount volume wise. So, you know, just basically you can see the brush and you can see the paint. It's just that I'm using the house of color. I've got a lot of their pinstripe paint, so that's what I'm using. So I'm going to hit the time lapse and just go through this thing. And then we'll jump on the other saw blade, which has posing patterns. So you've got two different types that we're going to do. But uh, anyways, we'll see how this comes out. All right, I went ahead and did this. I didn't do the time lapse on it. Uh, just kind of got into it and just finished the first color up and you kind of see how that's going. Now on this saw blade, I got opposing patterns. I got two different ones, so I'm gonna do two different colors. I'm gonna just do a green and then uh, a yellow on that, or maybe I may even do blue. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the time lapse on this portion and get this done okay now i got the opposing patterns on there i'm going to do these ones here in blue and i'm going to build from that i'm hopping back and forth in between two saw blades right now and basically to save some time and uh let me kind of just go ahead and start laying down some stripes i'll babble for a couple minutes talk or whatever and uh, i guess one of the most important things about doing this is just be patient and kind of let the brush do its thing pay attention obviously and i'm just laying this stripe down palleting the paint out getting a good consistency out of the paint not too wet where it's just a mess and the brush wants to slide all over the place uncontrollably that was one of the issues i had early on is that i have everything too wet and i'd get these big blots and you know i'm not the steadiest hand in the world so uh anyways i used to just create a mess for myself and i'd get so uh unhappy with it and then just one day it just started to hit the jive just like oh okay this paint's working for me that's where a lot of the problems i'm having was coming from but anyways i'm just kind of laying the stripes down being pretty uh happy with this it'll be interesting to see how this comes out i never really know what i'm doing i just kind of just go at it and have a sort of a general ideal to begin with. I'm going to make that line just a little bit thicker. And get this paint. This blue, uh, it tends to be stickier than the green I just used. So 
I had to wet it up a little bit more. So anyways, just a lot of just little tips about doing this that will make a difference, make the project, you know, either come out better or worse and either make it more frustrating or enjoyable. But uh, that's all I got for now. I'm going to hit time lapse again, I guess. Now I got the blue on, you can really see the opposing patterns. So really it's not necessarily a kaleidoscope, but it, uh, I hope I can get it to jive. This is gonna be interesting. It's the first time I've ever done this. So uh, either it's gonna come out good or it's gonna be a mess. This one's perfectly fine. That's, it is gonna be a kaleidoscope pattern. So anyways, next, next batch, I'm gonna draw down the next patterns on the color. I'll be using this pencil, the stator, Omnichrome, in white, but, uh, all right, man. Look at that. I totally missed that line. I want to put that line in, and I want to fix these little boobahs here, get them, you know, taken care of. I got one bigger one here. And uh, get them cleaned up, I'm going to draw down the, the next uh, patterns on here, and then I'll get some more color stripes down and maybe show you some different techniques. Now I'm doing the next color here. It's uh, just a kind of a medium to dark orange. And uh, again, it's all about the paletting, getting comfortable. I already got the patterns drawn down and I'm getting this nice and thick. So the red underneath of it doesn't, you know, basically wash it down make it look kind of non-existent and it looks like it's working i'm actually real happy with how that's looking i'm going to have the next batch of colors are going to be brighter more contrast than these first two and that's part of the overall scheme of doing these things sometimes i do things and they don't just come out the way that i want and other times uh i get into it i start going and it comes out better than i expect and I think this orange is actually really working in this uh, scheme here. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to carry that all the way down to the tip. I'm going to stop a little bit early. And as you kind of start laying the colors down, sometimes things will just uh, change as you're doing it. Even though I got the stuff drawn down, I'm just uh, kind of winging it all the time. I'm pretty good with uh, making things happen. I'll stop if they don't flow. And uh, keep carrying on. But uh, I'll time lapse the, this next batch here. Now that I got the stripes on, I've drawn out the next batch of stripes. There's going to be two more colors in each section. And then I'll come around and I'll do the rim here. And then I'll put in my divider lines. So we're just going to get into that. And then I'll show this one here. And then I'll show you how I do the you know, the numbers here around the circumference of it in order to do uh, line breaks. So anyways, that's all I got to say about that. I'll show some more video when this portion's done. Now take a look at this. I have uh, done a major color change. I took the original orange off and I put this neon orange on there because it just popped a lot better and it matches the neon red. But I am going to keep the purple in there. The next phase of the project is I'm going to pull all the tape around the circumference and these pieces of tape that are the spokes. I'm going to put a little graphic in there and then I'm going to come around and put a line there, divide up the, the amount of teeth so that I get kind of like this. 
And what I did is I counted the teeth out and then I put the dots in, I made it correct. And if you look here, I've got a green and then the, the next color and then the yellow, which ties it into there. And I also did it on this saw blade as well, where I got it there. And I've got five sets of stripes and that's all just doing simple math and then figuring out how you're gonna make it where it looks good and jives. So that's the next phase. I'll show that when I get into doing it, I'll actually show how I tape, uh, excuse me, how I stripe the outside and, and do my lines there. All right, I got the yellow put on. I went ahead, it's got 24 teeth on this saw. So I divided it into three, and that's obviously every eight teeth, I put a dot. I'm gonna do that dot green, and then I'm gonna do these dots orange. And I'm gonna follow the teeth here with a, a green neon. I ended up doing a lot of neon on this. Uh, namely because the red was really dark versus the other saw blade where it wasn't as dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. Uh, what I do is I end up using the back of this brush here and I'll actually just touch it down on, on the, the dot here. And that's how I'll leave the dot. That's just a little tip on that if you don't already know. And uh, so I'm just going to do that. And then uh, I'll you know, actually do video of pulling the stripe around here. And uh, so I'm going to get into it. Get the dots on. You can see the placement there. I did that. And then I'm going to come in and just do the green border line around the, the edge of the saw here. And I'll just, you know, I got to be careful because these dots are, are they're still wet. They haven't had uh, time to dry up. So I'm going to be very uh, ginger about going around this edge here. Get my green mixed up and decide I'm going to do neon green there. This is the, the border line. And do a little test stripe here, make sure I'm not all stupid here, being too wet. And I'll just kind of come around the edge right inside the teeth uh, let's see yeah you can see it had a look at the camera there make sure and I just kind of gently come around try to keep it nice and even some more it's like drying really quick for some reason or another let's kind of pick this up where I left off Get that down there I'll keep coming around. I see that I got the stripe there. And that's basically it. Right there. I'll tidy up that side there. Finish this up. And this is basically how I do a kaleidoscope uh, saw blade or any kind of circle thing on that. And then I'll show this other one. I get it completed. If I didn't mention it before. How I put these dots on, this is the back side of this brush, but the end of the handle here. And I'll dip that in the paint. Let's see, get some. This is really wet right at the moment. I'm just letting it dry up. So why I'm even filming this. And I just kind of dab it down. So I'll go over here. And I mean, I'm going to be doing kind of posing stripe colors here I just drop that down there go over here just reload again do that Get this here wind up bingo and then right there and it's that simple just a little tip there it's not a industry secret or anything but we're getting these sewed up
and I'll show this at the end of it too. Now here's the saw blades. They got all the dots on them, the borderline, and I cleaned up the grid off of them. And I got this one here with the opposing pattern. And that's it. Uh, just a neat little project. That's how I do these circle things, is obviously with the grid. And uh, we'll get these things clear. Till then. I hope you enjoyed the video, you learned something, maybe some of my tips help out in your projects, and uh, if you like, please subscribe, hit a thumbs up, leave a comment, until the next video.